At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my automated trading systems are performing. In today's video, we're going to be talking about December 2022. Before we get started, hi, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build and code automated trading systems to hopefully make a return for me with my own capital in the futures market. If you want to work with me, see the links in the description below. Okay, so for December uh, 2022, we did 1.42% return on that month. Uh, the S&P for that month was down about 5.76%. So a very good outperformance. Um, we outperformed the S&P by about 6%. December, I had some, a lot of issues. Um, a lot of my bots, as you guys know, I do walk forward analysis. So usually every two, every one to two years, depending on the bot, I'll be optimizing the the parameters, right? Re-optimizing them for the next year or two years, depending on the walk forward kind of period. So in December, um, I did optimize a lot of the strategies a little bit too early, technically 30 days early, because they're supposed to be updated at the end of December. But I did it December 1st just to get it out of the way. And I just, it, it was always on my mind. So I'm like, I just want to optimize it now and we'll get them started. And there was actually two of my, my systems that the walk forward optimization parameters were a little bit wrong in the increments. So for example, one of the increments was supposed to be every $100. And I actually had every $1,000 in the increment because I forgot to update the template. So because I developed the strategy so long ago, a lot of my templates, um, I forget a lot of the increments or maybe I made a human error and just forgot to update it. So I only did find that <laughs> I only found that out in January, but some of the increments were wrong. I don't think it caused too much of an issue, but it was just incorrect. And you know, I fixed them for January. So yeah, overall, we, we outperformed the S&P. Once again, we did 1.42%. And um, we, yeah, sorry to say we, uh, the S&P uh, was down 5% for that month. December was a pretty volatile month and I expected to honestly do better. So maybe my template optimizations were incorrect, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I can't complain. And um, I'm excited for the new year uh, for 2023. Uh, we finished off this year uh, pretty good, and um, yeah, not not really much to talk about. Um, so that's that's the performance for December. I'm gonna keep making these videos. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like these videos. If you like me going over um, how I did for you know a specific month, and uh, stay tuned uh, for January. Peace, guys.